and, and trust me, I can speak from an experience, man. I've connected with a chick where it's like I thought it was something and my life just flatlined for a long period of time. Where it's like, what in the head? Like, like, like I understand the creation process. I'm doing certain things. I, I understand the work I'm doing. I'm, I'm understanding alchemy. But why is my world at a standstill? Why is life on pause? It's because I'm in a different element. I was no longer in, in soul's world. I was in a completely different world. So the knowledge that I had, the law, the, the laws that I understood were null and void in a different world. We're null and void in a different world. And as soon as I separated myself from that, dollars went up. Everything went up. Subscribers went up. Health went up. Happiness went up. Relationships outside went up. Networking went up. You got to understand, man, when you... All relationships are marriages. At ease, brothers. Let me give a special at ease to all my veterans on this Veterans Day, man. A uh, special shout out to anybody that had the courage to put that uniform on, man, and, and put your life on the line. Whether you was in that sandbox or you, whether you was in, you know, other places on the globe, man. Uh, thank you for your service. And thank you for having the gonads to do what we had to do, man. Special shout out to 3rd Infantry Division. Anybody anybody that's been through 3rd uh, ID, Rock of the Morn, you understand we built different. If you were if you wasn't built different before before you came in, you were definitely uh, different before you came out, man. You have to be on a different frequency to be in third infantry division, man. You really have to be about that life and the things you learn there, the energy you you incorporate by being in third ID, bro. It makes you a different human being. It 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 makes you it gives you the ability to tap into that that inner monster if you got to, man. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, right? I want to talk about something today, though, brothers. Something that's very important, man. You have to understand. You can never return to your old world. You can never return to your old world, man. And what I mean by that is a lot of times we just have to let the past be the past. You know, and a lot of times I'll speak about certain quotes in the books. You know, Hanno talks about closing the door on certain situations and never returning and putting up the armor and all this kind of stuff. In a singular truth, I say, you know what? Once you get down the path so far, like once you walk away from that old world, once you bring your energy back from that old world, the old world begins to crumble completely. And, and at some point in time, people will come in your life or you'll cross paths with people that will try to energetically bring you back. But you have to understand the old world is no more. Like you can go back, but it's going to be complete destruction. It's going to be a lot worse than it was before you got there, man, or before you left, right? So this weekend, man, I spoke, uh, I spoke at a very powerful event, bro. Harvest Fest in East Texas. It was held by Bishop Orlandis Chimney, man. My brother in the power circle, right? My brother on the square. We in the same frat. And, and the brother is my brother-in-law at the same time, man. So me and this brother are brothers on, on, on several degrees, right? Brother had a first annual Harvest Fest, man. Powerful event, man. Everybody left there vibing. I was speaking on entrepreneurship. A lot of people speaking on different things. High vibing, right? So I'm leaving East Texas, headed back to Dallas. High vibing, right? And I come to this small town called Mount Enterprise. Mount Enterprise, man, population, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a thousand. I don't know if it's a few hundred. I don't know what it is, right? But all I know that Mount Enterprise pretty much consists of one, one intersection on, on a major highway, right? At the intersection, you have a gas station and a burger joint. On the other side, you have a, 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 a restaurant. And then like some older abandoned maybe even buildings on the other parts of the intersection, right? So I'm in Mount Enterprise, right? Getting gas, getting ready to head back to the Dallas, right? And I hear somebody call my name, man. I hear Mon Hill. And instantly, bro, I knew exactly who that was. A voice I hadn't heard since probably 96. So you're talking about, you're talking about 26, 27, 28 years since I've heard that voice. Before I turned around, man, I knew exactly who it was, man. It was one of my partners. 
And it wasn't one of those, it wasn't one of those partners, man, that you just kind of see from like high school. And you just like, oh, bro, good to see you. Dap you up and keep on going. It was a brother, man, that is, you know, one point in life, we had some deep conversations, man. Like, man, like we got to figure out somehow to get out of this situation. Like, you know, we're 17, 18, 19. Like, like, like we see people adulting. At some point in time, we got to figure out how to get on the other side of this fence, man, and start living life. Because at one point in time, man, we were talking about like, man, are we going to even live to see 21, 25? So it was a brother. It was a close brother to me, man. So it wasn't no doubt, man. It was a, it was a straight hug, you know, straight love. I'm asking this brother how his daughter's doing. He's like, yeah, man, she just got divorced. And I'm like, she's out of school? You know, because I still see her, you know, fifth, sixth grade or whatever grade she was in back then. She was young. She was a child. And uh, so we sitting there connecting, right, man? And to be honest, bro, a lot of times when you see people from the past that you hadn't talked to in years, that's where you need to cap it off at right there. Let's connect real quick. Let's chop how the family doing, how your mama doing, how your daddy doing. Man, good to see you. Hold, hold it down, right? That's where most of the people from the past need to remain, right? But me and the brother kept talking, man. We probably sit at that gas station for about 25, 30 minutes just chopping, bro. And brother was like, man, where you at now? I said, I'm in Dallas, man. Man, I've been trying to catch them cowboys. I've been trying to. This is where things started changing, bro. Y'all know me, man. Like, like, like anybody that knows me, in my mind, it's like, if you come to Dallas, bro, what you get in a hotel for? You come to Dallas, man, you stay at the crib. I said, man, I'm right down the street from uh, Cowboys headquarters, man. Pull up on me, right? Boom, we swap numbers right there. I should never, I should never have gone to that point, right? Should never have crossed that line. Because you got to understand this. You got to understand this. When you meet people, period, just now meeting people, people from the past, people you finna get engaged, uh, get, get, you know, emotionally engaged with, right? You're blending worlds. Every single relationship on the planet is a marriage. Is a marriage. I don't care if you're paying for paying, paying for a, a, a bag of chips at the store. When you and the guy, when you and the person on the other side of that register get to engaging in conversation, that's a marriage. It might be a quick five second marriage, but it's a blending of energies, right? Long story short, right? So I said, man, you know, pull up on me. I I probably get thirty minutes down the road, man, and brother gets to sending me texts. He's sending me texts, like, yeah, man, you remember so and so, so and so locked up, man. I'm like, oh, dang. Couple minutes later, you remember uh the chick from the so and so, man, she died from what's her name, man. Oh, damn. You know, so and so got life, man. You know, da da da. You know, so I mean, so the whole time from East Texas to Dallas, which is about an hour and a half, two hour drive. He's just bombarding me with, with things from the past. Remember when we used to do that so-and-so, man? Remember, oh, girl? And I'm just back, I'm just back there engaging, and I'm like, yeah, baby, yeah, I remember that, man. Oh, oh, that's sad. I'm going to tell you what happened to me, bro. When I got home and walked in the house, it almost felt like, and I don't want to go extreme, but it almost felt like I didn't belong here. I'm looking at the art on the walls. I'm looking at the, the, just the house, period, just the place where I live. And I'm like, man, why does it feel funny me being here? And what had happened between East Texas and Dallas, I'd allowed somebody to change my frequency. So when I came back to my humble abode, it didn't even feel right to me. Like, like it was almost like I took a portion of the version of me from 1996 and just warped it to now. As if I would have closed my eyes in 96 and woke up right here, right now. I'd have been like, what, where am I at? Why does this feel funny? I'd allow somebody to infiltrate my, 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 my world and, and alter it. Because I'm going to tell you this, man. This is something you really need to know. You really need to, need to know this, man. When you meet somebody, anybody on the planet, when you meet somebody and your frequencies are different, because I'm not going to lie, the whole time me and, this, me and this brother's talking, even though it's all love, all I could feel was 1996. All I could feel was 1996. The conversation, the vibe, the love, it was like, bro, we, we back on the block. You got to understand when you meet somebody, man, and y'all are on different frequencies, two things are going to happen. Either they're going to have to step into your world or you're going to have to step into theirs. There, there, is no, there is no constant communication and y'all are in different, different spheres. That can only last for a split second. There, there's going to be a pool. And I couldn't, I couldn't sit there and have a conversation about the things we talk about on this channel with this brother. Because, because it would have been, been Greek to his ears. 
So so I, I so I'm sitting there entertaining him, and I just I just started towing that line and towing that line. And yeah, I remember this. I remember this. By the time I get home, it's like, bro, I'm somewhere else. So I said it to say, man, be 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 cautious of your energy. Be be cautious of who you engage with on an emotional level, because things are taking place. Worlds are shifting. You have to understand that, man. You have to understand that when we talk about emotional energy on whatever level we talk about, emotional energy is not something you can play with. So all I'm saying is we talk about staying on your square. And I know better than this. When you're engaging with the world, man, st- you know, stand on 10 toes. Like I was just telling the brothers in the power circle yesterday, man. I said, you know what? You know, when you walk in a room, when you, whatever you do, don't be scared to offend people. Like, like if that's an older version of you, people are speaking to don't, don't be afraid to stand on who you are and offend them. Like, bro, like, what are you talking about? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Be aware of your energy, bro. But because, because the past can pull you back to the old version of you. So all I'm saying, man, is you, you can never return to the old world, bro. Or you finna destroy everything. You getting ready to destroy everything. Even when it comes to relationships. Think about it, man. All of us, all of us have those women that we might have talked to a year ago. We might have talked to three or four years ago. We might have messed with in college. We might have messed with uh, back in high school. Whatever the case, right? Y'all could have had flings. Y'all could have had whatever, right? You got to understand this. When you find when you find yourself evolving in life, and I'm not just talking about you know in, in, in life material things. I'm talking about energetically. I'm talking about you're leveling up. I'm talking about you're healing from past traumas. When you find yourself leveling up and leveling up and experiencing new things and experiencing new people, that's a beautiful thing. Every once in a while, man, you're gonna turn around and see people from your past. You're gonna see women from your past. I'm gonna tell you this, brother. Be very cautious. Be very cautious about entertaining women from your past. Because a lot of times, they're going to be exactly where you left them. They're going to be exactly where you left them. You know what I'm saying? And I talked about this. I talked about this a few videos ago, man. When I said, you know, uh, uh, treat a woman like she is or whatever I said. I said, treat her, you know, accept her as she is, but, but treat her as whatever, you know, however I said that, man. I'll leave a link, Right? You have to understand, man, that when you evolve and you cross paths with a woman in your life, it's very dangerous. Because, again, the same thing has to happen. Either they have to come to your world or you have to go to theirs. Like, like, like I'll say, I'll just keep it 100, man. Like, there, there was a situation that I had, right, where me and this person that I, that I, that I used to connect with, bro, vibing on, I'm talking about vibing hard. At any point in time, she flew into town. At any point in time, I flew into town. It was vibing hard. It was fun times. It was laugh. It was drinks. It was, it was, it was just a festival, right? Intimate moments. And then a certain thing happened where we just parted ways. I was on some level up stuff. And it might have been some time that passed. It might have been several months. It might have been a year or so, right? At some point in time, when I crossed paths with this person, see, a lot of times we will do some healing. And just because we d- d- you know, did some healing, we'll think that a lot of our partners from the past, we'll think that a lot of the women that we used to entertain from the past have been leveling up the whole time. Like when you're leveling up, a lot of times you just, we just assume the whole world is leveling up. And a lot of times, brothers, you'll come back into contact with, the, with these women and they're still back there. And I'm not saying that's bad that they're in a situation where, you know, they might hook up with you one weekend and next weekend they might be in Atlanta or they might be in, you know, wherever, uh, uh, Chicago, or they might be in New York or they might be in Cali hooking up with somebody else. It's like, if that's the relationship y'all had, then that's just what it was. But when you come back and you're a different person, you got to understand it's a good chance she's still there. So when you're blending energies again, either she has to come your way or you have to go toward toward hers. And I'm going to tell you this, man, when you walk in a certain light, when you, when you walk in a certain light, when you walk in a certain energy, when you walk in a certain frequency, everybody, men, brothers you used to know, or women you entertain that used to be low vibrational, instantly, man, they're going to be attracted to that light. 
energy. They, they're going to fuel your world and say, you know what? I want a part of that. I, I, I want to vibrate right there. And she'll come and tow that line, right? But you got to understand, man, that once a person gets close enough to that light and can taste it, once they understand, once they understand what it takes to be in that light, once they take what once they understand what it takes to vibrate there, once they once they understand the amount of accountability, once they understand the amount of inner work, once they understand the amount of healing in dark places you got to visit to come out of there and stay in that light. They running for the hills, bro. They running for the hills. And at that, at that, at that, at that, at that point in life, just like a lot of brothers can come in your life and have to dip, women can come in your life and have to dip. It can cause your world to be shaken up, man. So what I'm saying is never return to the old world. Never. And when I say return, meaning never entertain elements of the old world. Never entertain elements of the old, old world, people, places, things. Because again, either you're going there or they're coming over. And it's much harder for them to just walk across that gun line without doing all types of work, right? Now, I know people say never say never, right? And I get it. And, and I'm not saying there aren't situations where you can't entertain the past. You can't see that partner from fifth grade, from high school that you used to be on a trap spot with and y'all connect, man, and move forward and do big things with. I'm not saying you can't cross paths with a young lady that y'all just might used to hook up and smash and have drinks and have laughs. I'm not saying you can't see that little young lady at some point in time and y'all might can even get together and get married and move on and have, you know, kids in the house and, 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 and dogs and the whole shebang. I'm not saying that can't happen. So I don't want to say never, right? But I'm going to tell you this. If you entertain anybody from your past, make sure they can speak to their darkness, bro. If you meet somebody from the past, make sure they can speak to their darkness. And when I, when I, what I mean by that is make sure they can tell you about the path of crossing over. If they, can, if they can't speak to the path, if they can't speak to what they had to do, if they can't speak to the pain it took to get it out the mud on an energetic level, if they can't look back and identify the, you know, the things that, that, that caused them to even be the way that we all used to be, right? If they can't speak to it, that means they're still over there. It means they're still there. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, like, if your brother can't tell you, like, man, yeah, man, I was there, man. Remember when we used to be on the block? We used to be doing all this stuff. We used to be doing all this low vibrational stuff. If he can't say, man, I had to go inside, man, and think about where that came from. Man, I was thinking about, man, when uncle taught me how to cook, yay, and do da 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 and I had to, and, and went through all this stuff. Man, I had to go inside and fix that thing, bro. I had to go inside and, and separate myself from my city. I had to put myself in a different element, man, look back at myself and say, you know what? I was jacked up. If your old partners can't say that, leave them alone, bro. Don't even exchange numbers with them. Because again, somebody has to make a move. If these women that you used to mess with, man, and y'all used to be on a vibration where y'all would hook up and smash, y'all might hook up in the city, y'all might go on a quick trip, and we all went separate ways, it was like, whatever you doing, you doing. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing. And again, I'm not saying nothing's wrong with that. If that's how y'all vibrate, if it's a mutual thing. But when you heal yourself, and you understand that when you get to the point where you say, man, you know what, that whole, that whole uh, rotation talk, like, man, that's some low vibrational shit. Like, I don't vibrate there no more. It's like, it's like I'm entertaining women only that I can go the long way with. And I'm not saying marriage and all that stuff, but if I can't see you in my life and we, and we go on the distance on some level, in some way, shape, or form, then I'm not even going to entertain that. I'm definitely not to be, be laying up with you. I'm talking about some high vibrational talk now, brothers. If, if you cross paths with the woman that you used to hang with on that low vibe, if she can't speak to that old version of herself, if she can't say like, man, shh, I was in that whole phase, man. Like there was a point in time where I would leave you and I might catch, I might catch a flight the next week and hook up with Joe Blow. I didn't, I didn't who knows where. If she can't speak to that and say, you know what, man, when I grew up, man, I saw pops treat moms like this. Or I saw moms moving a certain way. Or, or, or my auntie was doing this and my auntie told me I need to be doing this. And my auntie told me not to never commit to a man. 
If she can't speak to that thing, bro, leave her alone, bro. Don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even back up and get in this hookup, low vibrational rotation with these women, bro. Because your world is going to do something. And, and trust me, I can speak from an experience, man. I've connected with a chick where it's like I thought it was something and my life just flatlined for a long period of time. Where it's like, what in the head? Like, 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 I understand the creation process. I'm doing certain things. I, I understand the work I'm doing. I'm, I'm understanding alchemy. But why is my world at a standstill? Why is life on pause? It's because I'm in a different element. I was no longer in, in soul's world. I was in a completely different world. So the knowledge that I had, the, law, the, the laws that I understood were null and void in a different world. We're null and void in a different world. And as soon as I separated myself from that, dollars went up. Everything went up. Subscribers went up. Health went up. Happiness went up. Relationships outside went up. Networking went up. You got to understand, man, when you, all relationships are marriages. Again, you with the person that, that, that you and the barista that you flirt with down at Starbucks. You and, the, you, and, you and the brother that you laugh with that, that, that's, that's at the burger joint. You would, you would, you would, you, every single person you enter, you enter, you, you interact with on an emotional level, you have to understand it's a marriage. You have to understand there's going to be energy pool. People are going to be pulled in one direction or another. So again, I'm going to go back to what I said yesterday in, in the power circle meeting. Whenever you walk in a room, not even whenever you walk in a room, just the fact that you're breathing. Never walk in a state where you're not offending somebody. And I'm not saying purposely offend people, but never come out of your element. Like, like if you entertain somebody, whether it's, a, whether it's a partner at a gas station, whether it's a, 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 a sister you used to talk to, whether it's a friend, whoever, whoever it is. Whenever you entertain somebody, never take one step off of your identity or out of your identity. Make people feel uncomfortable. Make them, make them, make them, make them see that light coming out of your pores where, where they can say, you know what? I can't even get close to this brother if, if I don't vibrate there. Like I got to retreat as soon as I meet him. Walk in that energy, brothers. I'm going to say it again, man. Never return to your old world. 